up in the morning and turn us off today. We've got Jeremy Jones and Jared Hall, our stewardship rep, is here. And Jared, you're going to bring us a devotional coming up. Yes. On Isaiah 42. Can you give us a little glimpse of what you're going to talk about? Oh, Deb, I'm afraid I might give it away. But the question is, when we look at someone as amazing as Jesus is, sometimes he behaves in ways that we wouldn't expect. Hmm, interesting. Well, stay tuned for that. That's coming up in about a half an hour. And we're also talking about neighbors this morning. Um, only good things, though. <laughs> We're trying really hard. Yes, we are. <laughs> Only good things. Yes. Because we're doing a good neighbor celebration right. all this week, and we're asking you to share your favorite TV neighbor. Next week is scary neighbor stories. No, no we're not going to no, go. We're there. not going to do not, that. No, oh. we're, we're doing the good news. Not a tease. Thing. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the good news good neighbor, thing. Good. And how to good. be a good neighbor. These are positive too. stories. In fact, uh, Carolyn says bringing up the neighbor's trash when she's at work is something Aww. she just really appreciates about her neighbor. So yeah. it's really neat. That's amazing. So those are the kind of stories we want to focus in on. You can give us a call at 800-221-9356. Also, if you want to see us this morning, we are live streaming on Facebook at Ken and Deb in the morning. Here's the Katina is getting us started this hour with thank you on Moody Radio's Ken and Deb in the morning. Good to have you with us. All right. So, good morning. Good morning. It is time for our coffee break. Did you bring your coffee? All right. Do you have your coffee? You look like you're low. I'm. I'm really low. I had. I can't show that because it's. It's an. It's an old logo for Moody Radio. <laughs> you know, I noticed that Jason was wearing an old logo shirt during <gasps> share, and yeah. it was the same logo you had on your cup that you were concerned about. Ah. Uh, doesn't that make you feel better? Well, I, I just don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> That's a great quality about you, Deb. You just don't want to get in trouble. I like that. That's good. I don't think that should be the impetus for what you do, though. You should want to do what's good it's from true. your heart. Yeah, it but, shouldn't just not be, you know. But for sometimes with my boys, I just want them to feel that. <laughs> hey, I think somebody's calling in. Yes. So we'll go ahead and uh, have that in just a few minutes, but... Uh, Hey, good morning, Kathy, and good morning, Jordan, and uh, good morning to Heidi. We're just glad to have you with us this morning. And as we're talking about neighbors, I thought one fun thing to talk about is what do you borrow from your neighbors? Oh. Have you borrowed anything from your neighbors? I've never borrowed anything from my neighbors, mm -hmm. ever. Ever? Never? I've not a never... cup of sugar, not an egg? Okay, so what have you borrowed from your neighbors? What, what Post have it, you comment. Borrowed from your neighbors, Deb. The big scoop. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but only once. <laughs> All right, let's go to the phones and see who's calling in. Anything from you? Uh, Good morning. Hello? Who's this? Hi. Hi. Who's this? David. Hi, David. So, what are you? What are you calling about? Are you have talking about your neighbors or good I, qualities? I want Hazel to be my neighbor. Hazel to be your neighbor. Okay, so... You had the answer to everything, especially <gasps> cooking. But if you had a problem, you just go to Hazel and she would solve it. <laughs> it's good to have a neighbor that can solve those problems yeah. that you're having, especially yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. If you need to know what frying pan to use, Hazel could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave, idea. thanks for joining the conversation. Okay. You bring it back some fond memories. Have a great day. Okay, bye. Bye. So you're a young buck. Do you know who Hazel is? I'm too young. Okay, I thought I thought so. She was yeah. a she was a TV character and she played like a maid. What TV show? Hazel. <laughs> that was the whole show. I think it was called Hazel. We have the we have the internet. We can find out. Yes. Uh, yes. Hazel. So you borrowed the big scoop show. I think it was called Hale. You gave Hazel. it back. Yes, it was called Hazel. And yeah. then, wow, what year is here? This? Here she is. 1961. As it turns out, I'm too young for that. Yes. <laughs> Did not see any reruns of that either. Yeah. Um, so, big scoop. You gave mm -hmm. that back. Got your own. Right. Yeah. Right. But we've had people, like, borrow stuff from us, like our generator. I think we... Oh, we borrowed a lawnmower from our neighbor one time when ours broke, and we needed to mow the oh, lawn. Oh, yeah. Sure. And Did they you were give it back? so gracious. Yes. Oh, good for you. Good job. <laughs> yeah. You are a good neighbor, Deb. Yeah. 
I think Charlie like, even cleaned it off, too. You're like, 25 years later, still going <laughs> strong. <laughs> Nothing beats a deer. Okay. So how about you? What have you borrowed from your neighbor? Or have you had a situation where you found something in your house and, like, you're thinking, oh, I think that's my neighbor's. Like, I'm not sure I ever purchased that. <laughs> I don't think that was I a gift. I wonder if she knows it's missing. No, I, don't, I don't know what the story is, but that's one thing you do with your neighbors as borrow. And those are the Katinas with Thank You and such sweet, sweet song with the, the kids singing at the end. Thank yes. you. And that's one thing we can share with our neighbors is just gratitude mm. and, you know, be grateful for them and be grateful for the neighborhood that you live in, even with the challenges, there's always something good to be grateful for. Speaking of neighbors, what was your 4th of July like in your neighborhood, Deb? Oh, it was really loud this year. It was, but we took advantage of it. We just walked outside and saw the whole fireworks scene in front from our front porch. Well, we yeah. don't have a porch, but a little stoop. Yep. Yeah. And Amazing, it, right? It was. Amazing. Yes. I, I was pretty nervous about my boys waking up. Did they sleep through it? They slept through it. Oh, wow. You have good sleepers then. At I the mean, right moment, it's certainly true. Okay. Then and, and it was loud. Okay. It was loud. And it was right there. I mean, our, the neighbor closest to their window wow. was full-on 4th of July Independence Day celebration. Mortars, everything going off, and uh, not a peep. Wow. Even the baby slept right through it. Not a problem. It's amazing. It's that amazing. is yeah. that is a blessing. Yes. And that's a reason to be grateful. <laughs> I was. and, and But uh, I felt like we were surrounded mm -hmm. at one point. Like mm -hmm. 360 degrees everywhere. Fireworks going off. Mm -hmm. It was quite the show. It was, yeah, it was. It was really loud, and I'm glad it's over. Do, because it was kind of scary to hear the boom so close to your house. Oh. It's like, you're just ready to fall asleep and boom. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you should watch on Facebook Live. So you get, you the, did full, not see that. You get the full effect. Jeremy's uh, got to edit. Do you, do you nope. feel... <laughs> no editing. This is live. You get what you get. So um, do you not like the loud noises of fireworks? I don't like to be asleep or just falling asleep and mm. hearing loud noises. That's more like it. Once I realize what it is, then I'm okay. But the, the, just the sudden waking up and not knowing what something is is, is scary jarring. to me. Yeah. Jarring. Yeah. 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 But we're talking about good neighbors. Yeah. And, and, good and I think TV we neighbors. had good neighbors who were shooting off fireworks. They were bringing Independence Day to our backyard. You know what? Here's something that you might not have known about. Okay. Somebody just texted in, the Cuckoo Pigeon Sisters lived above the Odd Couple. Not my favorite, but I love the name. Do you remember them? I remember the Odd Couple, but I don't remember the neighbors. I don't either. That I makes me know. feel better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the Odd Couple, too, but I don't remember the neighbors, so I'm going to have to go and seek that one out and do a little bit more research on it. Hey, give us a call of your favorite TV neighbor, what makes them special, or... You know, if you have a favorite neighbor story, be sure to share that this week and next week. Because if you share it online, not only can we share it on air, but then you have a possibility of uh, winning an iPad and an Amazon Echo Dot. And it's really easy to share your story. One simple way to do it is to text neighbor to our phone number, 800-221-9356. The link will come back to you. Fill it out. Share a story. It doesn't have to be long. And you'll enter to win, and you'll also just give us a, another reason to be thankful and a, another good news story to share. It's 709 here at Moody Radio. Yeah, I have not heard the Cuckoo Pigeon Sisters. That is really interesting. I'm going to have to look that up. Coo. Coo. It seems a bit on the nose with the name. Coo Coo Pigeons, right? Ah. Uh, because pigeons coo. The cuckoo pigeon sisters look back at on the odd couple. Oh, I, yeah, they have a little clip, but I'm not going to play it right now. Okay. But anyway, 
Deb, did you yeah. see the news broadcast? They were doing an aerial shot of a city, mm-hmm. and the entire the entire city was was just one constant firework display. Did you see that, Jeremy? Just wow. constant, boom, boom, boom. And they were just they're panning the entire city, and everywhere in the city, wow. fireworks are going off. I mean, it was it was quite the sight. Wow. Yeah. So well. You're not going to stop Americans from shooting off fireworks on the 4th of July, I think. Yeah, and I, I truly think that uh, counties are figuring that out because now there's some talk about how to stop it in some yes, places. right. Because they had so many people complain. I know in Galesburg was one yes. of the stories this morning, just that a lot of people did not like the, uh, yeah, the responses that happened on the 4th of July where there's so many fireworks. Right. One of the unfortunate things in Davenport was that park that needed to be cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that's the story of good neighbors. Mm-hmm. I mean, the park was left uh, in really bad shape and it was the neighbors of the park that came and, and cleaned it up. It was really quite fantastic. Oh, well, that's, yeah. a, that's a good news story right yep. there. A good yep. news neighbor story. Yep. So, um, do you remember how many the was? It was... No... I did write it down, but I didn't bring my paper in with me. Okay. Somebody put a GIF. You win this time. Who's, what's, who's that? That's a neighbor. Here, uh, Heidi says, Jared, you are disgustingly young. Aw, thanks, Heidi. Heidi says, I seem to be the general store and hardware store to my neighbors. Oh, that's nice that they think that, you know, that they think so much of you that you're so approachable that they can come and. Are they purchasing things then? <laughs> or renting? Like, I mean, that's a positive way to look at it, Deb. I know. Hey, all day, I'm trying to be positive. You're doing great. I mean, you're we're doing, trying to be. You're crushing it. Deb. Our world is so negative right now. It takes everything oh. I've got. Yeah. To yeah. try to stay on the positive track and you, not fall off so, into the depths of despair. Here's a personal yes. question. Um, do you have much left when you go home to Charlie? Or do you kind of use it all out? Well, you know? I am tired when I get home. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's nap yes, time. Yeah. yeah. I and need then, nap time. I need yes. about a half an hour. And everybody Recharge. knows that. Even my kids, when they were living in the home. Oh, yeah. And I'd get home. Yep. They'd go, take a nap. <laughs> yes. Then we'll do this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're just not going to talk about anything <laughs> until you reset. Yeah. No, but a nap is really good oh, for that. Yeah. It does. It helps because, my demeanor. Oh, it's so, otherwise you're so spent and yep. you don't know where to, maybe you feel that way when you go to work. And um, by the way, coming up at 830 this morning, we're going to talk with Paul White about workplace issues and. And how to be a good neighbor. At work. In the workplace. Yeah. yeah I think that'd be a great conversation. How not to take those problems home too. Yeah. That's probably another question to ask. If, especially if those problems are in home mm. because you're working at home, at home yeah. as we all are yeah that is mercy me and almost home and we were kind of talking on facebook live jared about being almost home <laughs> literally <laughs> after work when you go home yes you know how tiring it can be but when we go home to be with the lord jesus it is going to be exhilarating. It's going to be like nothing else. It's not like we're going to be walking in tired and need a reset. It is going to be the reset It forever. is the reset. Yes, that's right. I mean, what a thought. I mean, no more sorrow or tears or crying or pain. All those that's things, right. their former things, they're going to be out of here. I mean, that is a terrific thought. Oh, it's everything, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, as we think about staying centered and on point of living for the Lord in this life, it's about crossing the finish line. Right. And it's good to have a clear picture of that. And so great that in the Lord's Word, He gives us glimpses of what that finish line looks like. Right. And the whole the whole reason why we're here is to do what Jesus did and then share the good news. I mean, That's right. I mean, we're here to seek and save the lost, what He did, share His message with others and how can we do that if we don't even know them and so that's kind of where we're focusing on being a good neighbor getting to know people crossing the street for them um entering into their world right how to be salt and light Mm -hmm. in this world and it's very hard to do that as um as a stranger who doesn't talk to anybody 
It's hard to be it is. heralds of the gospel it in that is. way. I have a friend who's a pastor. He says it like this. He says, I'm just uh, one beggar telling another beggar where to get the bread of life. Mm-hmm. And that's where we're at right here in this world. Yep. Yep, that's good. So we're talking about good neighbors. If you'd like to share your story, maybe you've had a chance to witness to your neighbor. Oh, that would be and excellent to hear. Maybe you've seen um, somebody in your neighborhood come to know the Lord, or maybe somebody in your neighborhood witnessed to you, and that's how you came to know the Lord. What a great, what a great story oh. to share. There's no greater story. So if you have that story, or if any any kind of um, feedback on being a neighbor is what yes. it's all about for the next couple weeks here at Moody Radio. So we'd love to hear from you as we celebrate good neighbors. It's 715 here at Moody Radio Quad Cities. If you want to get a hold of us, call 800-221-9356. Okay, so I talked about borrowing things. Yes, now okay. we get to the truth. Okay. Okay, now now there's some sh- uh, rules for sharing. Rules for sharing. Okay, so one of them that I found in this article was really, really good. It was inspect the item before lending it out. Oh, okay. Okay. So, and I thought that was really insightful because this person says sometimes we forget that our stuff is already cracked, Mm. that it doesn't look new, that it has something that's wrong with it, and you don't want your neighbor to think they broke it. Right, but sometimes or, we remember right. things differently than how they actually are, yeah. And yep. with a person that struggles sometimes with memory issues, <laughs> I thought that was really excellent. I'm like, yes, look at it before you lend it out. And here's another one that is probably self-evident to mm-hmm. most people, but always worth repeating, and is that ask before you borrow. Oh, yes. Otherwise, yes. it's called something else. It's called stealing. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. That's a quick way to land yourself into a category other than being a good neighbor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stealing. Good. And another one, return items in better condition than borrowed. And which would be like with uh, yeah. Charlie mm-hmm. washing off the lawnmower. That's a great example of that. Yeah, return better than you found it. Uh, that's another really good. one that's good and would really help with neighbor relations is just set a date and time for returning it. Clear expectation. Right. Clear yeah. expectations. Yeah. I, um, I don't think I've ever had much to loan out to people other than my books. Mm-hmm. My books are kind of the only thing. But I'm not even sure that my, my actual geographical neighbors know that I have a small library in my house. So They might now. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Excellent point, Deb. <laughs> the, of course, Excellent they'd have point. to be listening to our yes, station. They'd have to be watching Facebook Live right now. <laughs> That's true. We are Facebook Live. It's always confusing to me where I'm talking. I just keep talking. <laughs> you just go. <laughs> And then when they tell you to stop, yeah, you stop. Just, you yeah. Just, yeah, that's the way it goes here on the radio. <laughs> you have a tough job, my friend, Jeremy. You have a tough job. You do a great job. Well, thank you, sir. You're very welcome, sir. So have you yeah. ever borrowed anything or borrowed anything or lended anything out, Jeremy? I mean, I'm the oldest sibling in my family, so yes. Yes. You've, you've loaned everything out and never gotten anything back. There's, there's been some things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure my oldest would feel that way. Mm-hmm. That, uh, so he has Legos, right? He's the oh, oldest. Yeah. He has Legos. And the middle one really likes his Legos. He has his own Legos, but he doesn't want to play with his Legos. He wants to play with his brother's Legos. And so I feel like I spent a good part of my life settling Lego disputes. Did they ever say let go of my Legos? No, but I want them to now. Yes. So being the last of six, I received everybody's hand-me-downs. Deb, we're coming back. Good morning, 719 is the time here at Moody Radio Quad Cities. want to let you know we have a Moody Radio app where you can have a lot of different options for listening. I mean, if you want to listen to straight music, praise and worship channel, uh, you can listen to our new podcast, Becoming Well or Just Gospel. 
Um, also, there's just there's a plethora of things, different online channels that have to do with preaching, proclaim. You can listen to individual episodes of Chris Fabry Live, Equipped with Chris Brooks. Just a lot of different ideas. Pretty much everything that you get on the radio, terrestrial radio, uh, when you tune in, only on demand. Mm-hmm. And um, and then you know some things that you wouldn't necessarily get, like um, um, some gospel, some hymns. Right. Yeah. It's definitely worth downloading and checking out. Um, and then also um, when we do things like share, you can also do your contributions through yes. the app. I mean, yeah. it's kind of a um, it's a front door, it's a gateway to a lot of right. different options to all the various things that Moody produces. I like to think of apps, uh, well, our app, as like a library. It's like getting a library card. Right. Right there on your phone. Right. And you open the door, and it's like Beauty and the Beast. It's all around you, all the books, all the way to the ceiling. Those are the options that you have. You're painting a very intriguing picture. (laughs) Yeah. That's excellent. Um, What if people haven't seen Beauty and the Beast so, Deb? What else would it be like? (laughs) <laughs> see how you have not seen Beauty and the Beast. Actually, no. Because I have young kids, I've now I've now okay. seen it. But okay, I had not. It would seen be it. like those library pictures of those old fashioned libraries that, from floor to ceiling, it's just books, and usually there's a nice little chair that people sit in to read the books in the room. And when you take your Moody Radio app, you don't really need to have all that. You just need that nice chair. You just hit the button. Right, just hit the button. You Boom. got a whole library of things to, to listen to. It's a beautiful picture. Dude. It is a beautiful picture. Yeah. So, But you have to download the app to get that. 721 is the time, and coming up, we are going to hear a devotional from Jared Hall in just a few minutes here at Moody Radio after a look at news. But here's the song, Even Then. 722 is the time here at Ken and Deb in the morning. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say anything more about the devotion. Well, you can say something about it now. It's Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. So Mm -hmm. we had been going, we went through the Torah in five segments, and then we went through the Psalms in five segments, even though we could have done more. My plan originally was to do Isaiah in five segments, um, but then with the whole quarantine thing and so forth, I decided, like, let's just kind of go full bore with Isaiah and, and cover as many passages as possible. Mm-hmm. So, um, so yeah, so we'll go beyond five in Isaiah, and I think that'll be good. But Isaiah is a r- very, very rich book uh, in regard to Messianic prophecy. So I have a question for you. Sure, yeah. Do you want to give out the handbook of Messianic Prophecy? I'd love to, a yeah. I think, we, I think we still have some copies to give away. I'm going to... I'm going to disappear for a minute. Okay, no right problem. Back. While Deb's disappearing, Jeremy's going to ask me the first question that comes to mind in regard to neighboring. Hmm. Have you ever borrowed a shovel? So I have a funny story about that. So um, last winter, we had a terrible, terrible snowstorm when I was driving back from speaking at a camp in Wisconsin. And I was using my GPS... And where I was coming from was a lot of rural backcountry roads. And the GPS, you know, as they do, they tell you the fastest route. But that is not taking into consideration road conditions, right? Mm. And so I'm on these back rural roads, which I would have been doing just fine on a clear day. But because of such a heavy snowstorm, I was just driving mm. on snow. And, and eventually I got smart and I just stopped paying attention to GPS, just got on the interstate and just went. But... In the midst of that, I was driving through a small small town, and I hit a S curve, and I and I went to turn the car, and instead of going right, I fishtailed it and went into a ditch, mm. into a big snowbank, oh, and I got out and I was like looking, I was like I'm 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 stuck, so I get back and I, so I tried digging out with my hands, mm. I can't can't do anything, and then I I look up, I look up and there's a house right there, so I go up to the house. Like mm-hmm. nobody, like no, nobody's home, knocking nothing, and I'm like, I'm just really frustrated. As soon as I come off their porch, I look and there's a shovel, right there, and I think this Lord is the Lord has provided this shovel for me, and so I borrowed that shovel, 
and I and I dug myself out. Now, I thought just a few minutes ago, <laughs> Deb said that borrowing without asking is not borrowing; it's something else. Unless the Lord provides it, then it's totally okay. And you did bring it back, and it was an emergency situation. So, I I'm did. sure the neighbors, that person, probably would have. Oh, said that so when was I brought fine. it back, all of a sudden I heard a voice out of nowhere. Okay. Hey, what? Are you? Okay. And so I you was were like, able to... Oh, I'm just borrowing your stuff. He's like. That's fine. That's what it's there for. That's, oh, okay. Oh, Thank you. So, good. Yeah. Oh, so it was, it worked. I like right. the rest of the story. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. And so then, but then also what was ironic is that after I, I, I dug, dug it out and went back, I started to push and I heard someone go, hey, you need help? And I looked up and there was a guy with two kids that showed up out of nowhere. And oh, I don't, I mean, it was just geez. like, you just, it just needed a little, like a little boop and yeah. then it was ready to go. But yeah, so that was, that was my story of borrowing a shovel. Yeah. So. And a lot of good neighbors there. Yeah, and then yeah. and then I was back on my way in these snowy country roads. But a mm-hmm. five-hour drive took me close to nine hours. Oh yeah, my. like a white knuckle the whole way. I was almost part of a 73-car oh pileup. Nearly missed that. Pretty exciting stuff that day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, our time on Facebook Live is done, Jared. Huh. Well, but if you want to win fun. one of these, the Moody Handbook of Messianic Prophecy, keep listening because we will give one away after you're done giving your devotional thought for the day. Sounds good. Hey, have a wonderful Tuesday. Thanks so much for listening in this morning. God bless you.